Welcome back. I am Devabrata and we are having fun here learning chemistry. So if you have joined late or want to recall what we have done so far, here is a recap for you. Aldehydes can be prepared from acyl chlorides by Rosenmund's reduction. Ketones can be prepared from acyl chlorides by reacting them with dialkyl cadmium. Aldehydes are more reactive than ketones towards nucleophilic addition reaction. Now that I have refreshed your memory, get ready to test it under fire. Yes the exam decoded section. Welcome to exam decoded. It's time to put all we have learned today to test. Get your act together and be ready for five questions that are on your way. Remember, you only have five seconds to answer each question. So are you ready? Here I go. Your first question, which of the following will not be formed when pentane 2 o is oxidized in the presence of powerful oxidizing agents A. Propionic acid B. Ethanoic acid C. Pentanoic acid D. Both A and B. Correct option is C. Pentanoic acid. Good going. Here comes the second question. Which of the following will give you positive felling test? A. Acetophenone B. Acetaldehyde C. Butane 2 own D. Pentane 2 own Yes, you are right. The answer is option B. Acetaldehyde Now, the third question. 2,4 DNP test will be given by which of the following organic compounds? A. Aldehydes B. Ketones C. Amines D. Both A and B The correct answer is D. Both aldehydes and ketones will give yellow, orange or red solids when reacted with 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine. I am sure you got it right. Here comes the next question. Ketones can be oxidized with mild oxidizing agent like Felix reagent. Is it true or false? It is false. Ketones can't be oxidized with Felix reagent. And now for the last. Ketones can be prepared from acyl chlorides by Rosenmund's reduction. True or false? This is false. It's aldehydes, not the ketones, which can be prepared from acyl chlorides by Rosenmund's reduction. With that, we have come to the end of the rapid fire round. Now, let's add up your scores and see how you have fared. 5 on 5 qualify you as a high flyer. So, well done. 4 or 3 on 5 makes you an achiever. This means you are on the right path and you have the potential to achieve even more. Less than 3 makes you a learner who needs to work harder. But don't worry, you can always log on to www.topperlearning.com to perfect your concepts. So let's figure out exam trends. The topic aldehydes and ketones comes under the chapter aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acids and has a weightage of 6 marks. It is critical from the examination point of view. Usually questions like complete the reactions, conversions and identifying the compounds are asked from this topic. These questions test your knowledge and conceptual ability. Learning is one part of the preparation but it is very important to know how to write your answers in exam. So, let's see how an examiner expects you to answer a typical question. Compound A having the formula C6H12O 
gives a positive 2,4 DNP test. But this compound gives a negative Fellings test. Compound A on oxidation with strong oxidizing agents gives two carboxylic acids B and C as major products. The molecular formula of B is C2H4O2 and C is C4H8O2. Deduce the structures of A, B and C. Justify your answer. This is a difficult question worth 3 marks. Here is how you should answer it. It is given in the question that compound A gives positive 2,4 DNP test. This means that it is either an aldehyde or a ketone. It is also given in question that compound A gives a negative Fellings test. Here you will have to recall that Fellings reagent is a mild oxidizing agent. So ketones will not give Fellings test. Thus the given compound is a ketone and not an aldehyde. This will fetch you one mark. Now to identify the position of the carbonyl group. The clue is given in the question. On oxidation, A gives two carboxylic acids B and C. B has two carbon atoms and C has four carbon atoms. So B is ethanoic acid and C is butanoic acid. You get another mark for it. Since these two acids are the major products, the keto group is present on the second carbon. Thus, A is hexane 2 o Write the equation for the oxidation of hexane 2 o also. Remember to apply the pop-offs rule here. With this, you get the remaining one mark. So finally, we have come to the end of another episode of chemistry. But remember, when you live for a strong purpose, then hard work isn't an option. It is a necessity. So make hard work your habit. Now it's time to say goodbye. This is Devabrata saying, keep thinking. <laughs>